My goal is just to find out what does happen. We've never done it with more than uh, 20 people. We're going to get some things that are quite unpredictable tonight. She sent me an email asking me, you know, maybe this was a crazy idea, but would I be interested in trying out some of these ideas with dancers, people who have been trained to be physically aware. I love ideas like that, so I said yes. I think we were inspired certainly by the, you know, the beauty and the complexity of animals in motion in bird flocks and fish schools. The basic rules of flocking are ones that have to do with cohesion and repulsion. So this is the way biologists understand that animals stay together in a group and avoid colliding. And then when there's more information in the group, say some of the animals see a threat approaching or they are attracted to a, a food source then you can see this beautiful ripple through the group. So the first to respond, maybe make a sharp move and that affects their neighbors and that affects their neighbors and so on. Some of the things that we'll learn tonight have to do with the fact that uh, you take these ideas and you put them in a different space with a larger number of people, with people who've been trained and people who haven't been trained for more than five or 10 minutes on the basic rules of flocking and you get something very different. So the Atelier is this wonderful program at Princeton that allows professional artists to collaborate on a work, on a creative process in the company of students. And the Atelier enters into this with the idea that the process of creating an artwork is going to be rewarding for these students at whatever level they engage with it. And the students have heavily shaped and designed what we're doing here tonight, and they're performing in it as well. And so we actually used a sort of a computer simulator that uh, a student, Willa Chen, developed this summer. When I started creating the simulator, it was, the whole class was just a spark of, of an idea. So I helped to shape the class in many ways as we experimented with dancers to see how they followed rules, how they responded to rules. I am a dancer. I've been dancing since the age of six. And that's partially why I got interested in this into this project, I thought, wow, I love dancing, I love computer programming, and this just combines the two perfectly. The whole process with the students was a, a big artistic exploration. Obviously, we are not fish, we are not birds, so we have limitations and strengths that are different uh, from those populations. Uh, the wonderful thing that happens with fish and birds, of course, is they get to occupy three-dimensional space so that even simple patterns take on this beautiful complex patterning that has that feels like space is folding. We're on one plane. We're not silvery on one side. <laughs> and when you look at us from above, we only have a point. We're not long and wide. We have different physical attributes and so that was one of the things we needed to investigate. How can we create something that's visually exciting with the attributes that we have on a single plane? This is a pretty rare opportunity to be able to have a creation supported uh, of this nature in this university setting where you can take a risk uh, on an unknown creative outcome with the support of students and that be a course. <laughs>